blue skies, sunshine, salty air. Yes, it's finally summer. The skin gets darker, the water gets warmer, life gets better. Join us as we take you on an adventure in one of the Philippines' most important historical islands and a tropical paradise you need to see. This is Limasawa. Good morning guys! It's still past 7 o'clock in the morning and we're here in Padre Burgos. It's a town situated in the southernmost tip of Leyte Island. Actually, sayo kami ng mata and we... I woke up at around 4 o'clock in the morning kay we still have to travel around 2 hours kay Gika kami bye-bye. And I'm so excited kay first time na ko mga tog Limasawa Island. Guys! Welcome to our first ever episode here and now in Leyte. So now, we're gonna take the first boat trip at 8 a.m. to Limasawa Island. Apamasai is 100 pesos. Travel time is about an hour. And it's not my first time going to the island, no? I've been there a couple of times. It's my favorite island, and you'll know why later. We departed at 9 a.m., but we don't mind the slight delay. The views around are already beautiful. The sky and sea was blue, and we can already see incredible rock formations. Limasawa is an island municipality in the province of Southern Leyte. It stretches about 10 kilometers long from north to south, making it the smallest town in the province. Upon arrival, we hailed a tricycle and paid 175 pesos each for the entire day tour. Tricycle and habal-habal are the only modes of transport in the island. Siyempre, gutom kayo mino kay taas ang biyahe. So we had to stop from in my uncle's place in Barangay Triana and had brunch. We had Liempo and Lechon Manok from Cali's Rose and Grill House. And of course, we couldn't miss the island's famous Adobong Nukus. After about a 10-minute ride from Barangay Triana, we arrived in Dakdak Dak Beach Resort where we'll stay for the night. It's a weekday so we didn't see many tourists around. We almost had the entire beach to ourselves. The resort has a long stretch of white sandy beach with air-conditioned rooms, but we opted to stay in their open-air huts. All right, this is our accommodation. This is a cottage type, and we paid 1,000 pesos sa among tulo. So we've got nice, comfy bed, native style siya, and nasa electric fan. It's so windy outside and we are fronting the beach. Nice! The beach was really inviting, but we didn't want to go to because we will have a long day exploring this beautiful island. But seeing Dak Dak Beach alone, I am already impressed. It happened on Easter Sunday in the 31st day of March 1521. Yup, that's 500 years ago. Father Pedro de Valderrama celebrated the first Catholic Mass in the Philippines in Limasawa Island along with his shipmates and several local tribesmen. The Spanish priest was part of an expedition to the so-called East Indies led by the Portuguese explorer Ferdinand Magellan. Inside the shrine are paintings and statues that depict what transpired during the time where Magellan and his crew landed in Limasawa Island. It's 
Next to the shrine, you can find a way uphill. Exactly 450 steps to the commemorative Magellan's Cross. On that same Easter Sunday afternoon, Magellan ordered his men to plant a large wooden cross on the top of the hill overlooking the sea. And that day marked the start of Catholicism in the Philippines. One of the most must-visit spots in Limasawa is the Island Lagoon Resort. For just 25 pesos, you can take a swim, jump off the cliffs, or enjoy water activities such as snorkeling and kayaking. As for us, we stayed in one of their cottages and enjoyed the waves as they carelessly dribbles onto the rocky shores. Just a few minutes walk away from the jump off point to the Island Lagoon Resort is the famous lighthouse or parola. Just make sure to be very careful in the cliff as there are no safety barriers. And yes, it is not ideal to go to the edge of the cliff for those who fear of heights. But the dramatic and postcard perfect views around, it simply took my breath away. It was truly a special moment. I subtly remembered a quote from the famous American poet Henry David Thoreau, Heaven is under our feet as well as over our heads. Limasawa is a quaint island town the life is laid back and everything is not rushed, unlike in the city. We enjoyed a quiet late afternoon at the Baywalk. There is nothing more beautiful than living a simple and happy life in this complex world we live in. The day ended with a colorful sunset at sea. Good morning! It's our second day and it's gonna be a long day. So Karun, nag prepare me sa mo breakfast no. Nami inflow, nami buwan, nami hot dog, nami tapa, nami spam. Alright! Guys, for your convenience, we suggest your dalam mo portable stove. Nami gamit mo butane. Guys, kung sayo sa mong tagod, kita mong nisod ko, luto sa ato breakfast. After our breakfast, and yes, we are so full, but we need energy because our last day here in Limasawa kicks off with a boat ride touring around the island. We paid 1,000 pesos to the boat owner, covering the rent, fuel, and his tip of course. The boat tour lasted 2 hours because we had to stop in a certain areas for a quick dip in the water. If you're in Limasawa, we totally recommend that you charter a boat because you'll see how truly incredible the island is. There are stunning cliffs, rock formations, and valley dotted with lush tropical landscape. The boat ride gives you a panoramic view of the island. We couldn't help but gaze with amazement because every direction we looked, 
was just beautiful. One of the highlights of our island tour is the opportunity to stop in several spots around Limasawa. We went for a swim in Talisay Beach that looks like a secret cove. It's a small idyllic beach surrounded with rock formations and coconut trees. The best part? It wasn't crowded at all. There's also a nearby spot ideal for diving, but we enjoyed the white sand and crystal clear water. Limasawa may be another one of the country's tropical islands with pristine beaches, but to me personally, it's more than that. Limasawa is about its genuine, hospitable people. Somehow, as a Litenu, it felt like a shame because it's still my first time to visit the island. But like our tagline says, it's better later than never. Guys, thank you so much for watching our Limasawa episode. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Links on the description. We'll see you on the other side, guys. Peace!